All right, first off, one of all praise the Hawa, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Makakadash, the Lord of the Apostles and the elders of Grimmel Stone. Salutations to the Akimo here who are sincerely you know, pushing this word, you know, who are, who are giving up themselves, you know, who are um, making themselves a living sacrifice to the Hawa, Bashem Yahu Shai, who was live with stones, a building of the house of David, the tabernacle of David in these last days. I shall them also to, to the, um, the, the believers, the helps, the sisters, you know, who are watching and learning. You know, in, in humility, you know, and and in our grace uh, and and um and hope, you know, for the coming of the day of our Lord Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, we will be we will be delivered, and we 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 will be become glorious, yo. Right now, this is a, this is an exhortation lesson. You know, I've been feeling the spirit of exhortation um since this morning. You know, and and sometimes you know when, when brothers are so focused, you know, on um on the negatives that are going on around, you know. You know the, the reproofs and all these things, which you shouldn't take reproofs as negatives. You know, but sometimes you need a reminder that you know is this worth it, yo? Because those demons, yeah, believe it or not, those demons will come on you, and you will ask yourself, you question, is this is this worth it, yo? You say, is it worth it for me for me to be taking all this reproof? Is it worth it for me to be going out uh, to all these trials and tribulations, right? People cutting me off, you know, problems at work, problems in your flesh, problems with your woman, you know, all these different uh, um, um, trials. That the truth bring, brings on you, you're going to ask yourself, is it worth it? Right? Well, let's just jump into scriptures and, and we'll just do a, a reminder, pretty much. You know, reminding you of, of a precept that you already know. But hey, we have to, we have to constantly go through these scriptures, yo. Right? This is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. But exhort one another daily. And that's what we're doing right now. Right? So this is an exhortation. Exhort one another daily while it is called today. Right? At least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And that hardening does not happen overnight, yo. It's, it's a gradual process that sneaks up on you. Right? He says the deceitfulness of sin. So it's not gonna come straight forward and say, hey, I'm deceiving you. Or hey, I'm hardening your heart. No. Right? It, it, it happens deceitfully, meaning that you, you're being tricked, yo. You're being tricked, you're being drawn away into the cares of this life, you know, whatever it be with the women, your children you know uh, finances your health whatever it is yo right you get pulled away right but exhort one another daily yo to constantly re-examine yourself constantly jump into the scriptures why because the end is worth it yo the end is worth it Akim, right for we are made partakers of your house if we hold the beginning of our faith confident the beginning, the beginning of our confidence salakia steadfast unto the end right so that's what we want to do yo we want to finish the race we, we, we want to continue on to victory yo Right? What it is said today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. Right? And and like I said before, you know, we, we go over these scriptures, right? Because we don't want him to slip, yo. Hebrews 4 and 1, let us therefore fear, at least a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Right? So we don't want that to happen to us, yo. Right? We don't want these things to um to slip from us. Hebrews chapter 2, I believe. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1, therefore we ought to give the most earn, the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, at least at any time we should let them slip. So it's not enough to say, alright, I know the doctrine and that's it. Uh, no, you have to constantly re renew yourself, you know, because we're dealing with so many different distractions, so many different fights. Uh, you have to constantly renew yourself, you know, Alright? But let's get into the scriptures talking about, you know, what we're fighting for, you know, What is, is all this worth, you know? Romans 2 and 7 to them, right, we're just talking about the elect, you know, my beloved Akim who are out there pushing this word, you know, for Haraka, for Dash, you know, who, who, who are growing in the grace and knowledge of the Mosai, Habashi, who are, who are pushing, you know, and, and definitely trying to be a better man, to be a better brother, right, to be a better father if you're a father, right, to be a better husband if you're a husband, all these different things, you'll be a better Hebrew Israelite and a whole, you know, right, to them. Who by patient continuance in well doing, all these different things are that are well doing, right? Teaching the word, doing lessons, going out in the highways and the byways, exhorting brothers, you know, uh, um, being charitable to our, to our brothers, right? Looking out for each other, all these different things you are well doing, right? So, to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory, for honor, and immortality, eternal life. That's what we're seeking for, Akim. We're seeking for glory and honor, right? And along with that, we want immortality or we seek for eternal life, right? Think about the dream that the brother had a, a several months back, right? About being in the kingdom and how he was among the, um, the elect and how the elect were, 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 was different from the rest of Israel. How they could see the difference when they, when they saw the elect, 
right? Think about that, that glory of, right? Think about the fact that you need to be mortal with that glory of. That's what we're seeking for after. Second Corinthians chapter 4, all right? And I'll start at verse, um, verse, verse 16. It says, for which cause we faint not, right? Meaning, different things come upon you, right? You, you take a review, you, you, you take temptation, you, you fall down, you get up. We don't faint, yo, right? We continue. But through, uh, though our outward man perish, right? This flesh is perishing every day, right? Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And how are you renewed, right? How shall I say, abide in me and I in you, right? Uh, the, the, the branch cannot bear fruit of its own, except it, um, sorry, the divine. The branch cannot bear fruit of its own, Salafia, except it abide in the vine, yo, right? The house is a true vine. So we renew ourselves, right? By, by, by staying in these scriptures, by staying among the brotherhood, by praying, by fasting, doing these lessons, watching videos, right? We renew the inward man day by day. But for our light affliction, for all these different things that are coming upon us, people calling us the scourge of the earth, you know, we, we, we become a, a laughing stock to people who are out there in the highways and the byways, you know, we, 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 because what? We, we're foolishness to them, you know. As the scripture said, we, we go and we, we, we persuade the elect, right, through the foolishness of, of teaching you, know, right? So our light affliction, because this is just a light affliction, which is but for a moment, Right, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Hey, um, the, 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 the very legendary boxer Muhammad Ali, right? I think his um, his born name was Cassius Clay, if I'm not mistaken. But Muhammad Ali said, Yo, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion, yo. right? So, so choose to suffer now, yo, right? So, yes, it's worth it. Yes, the elders are coming, the, the elders and apostles are coming down on you. Right, and uh, and and they are they are pushing you to do this work. They are pushing you to make sure that you are you are you are you're a better man, right? And yeah, it, it, it might seem difficult, right? And it might offend you in your flesh, but put it aside, yo. Put it aside, yo. They're watching for your good, yo. When I can come and exhort you, hey brother, you know you're not doing enough videos. Keep, you know, push that spirit, yo. Do do more videos, Akiam. Hey, we're not, we're not seeing you around camp in often enough. Come around the camp, Akiam. Hey Aki, I see that you know you kind of line up somebody's time. Hey, don't do that, yo. Hey Aki, I see that you're not reading enough. Hey, hey, read that. Hey Aki, you, you, you're going, you're going along this path, and this path is dangerous for your spiritual welfare. Don't do that, yo. Right? So it says, for our light affliction, which is not for a moment. All these different things are just a moment, yo. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we look not on the things which are seen. But I think you are not seen for the things that are seen are temporal. All these different things that you're going through right now, and you're stressing yourself about trying to figure out how to solve this problem or to solve that problem. All these different things are temporal. You know? And the day of the last trouble, you, you're, not, you're not even going to remember all the different things that you were worried about while you're, you're, you're here. You know? It says, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The kingdom, you know? that's what we look forward to. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 13. These are died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. And we're persuaded of them. Right? So we see them afar off. We are persuaded of them. We have embraced them and confessed that we are strangers and pilgrims upon the earth. Hey, a pilgrim is somebody who, who, who doesn't put down roots, yo. Right? You, pre you pretty much have the mindset of, and I, I'm just passing through. Right? I'm just passing through. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Right? And truly, if they have been mindful of that country from which they came out, which is the country that we are now, we're not mindful of this. They might have an opportunity to have returned, but know they desire a better country that is unheavenly. Wherefore, the Most High is not ashamed to be called their power, for He has prepared for them a city. So the Most High has prepared for us a city, yo. right? So we desire that better country, or we desire a country wherein there is righteousness, yo. wherein there is holiness, wherein uh, um, the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites are ruling with a rod of iron. When the nations are, are, are under subjection under us, right? When our women are under subjection under the men, when our children are under subjection under the men, when when, when society itself, right, it, it is 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 um is function how it should be, right? Moving on, Romans chapter eight, and I'll start at verse um eighteen. It says, "For I let me start at verse um verse 16 right? It says, "The Spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High." Right, so this thing is a spiritual thing, yo. Yes, the um, the law, the, the, the law, statutes, judgments, the covenants, the promises, the glory, the, all these different things are given to the Israelites by birth and by seed, right? But it's impossible for us to, 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 to do a DNA test for everybody that comes in camp, yo. Right, we have a lot of our brothers who are scattered. 
among the nations, the countries we are faces, right? And we use the spirit, right, to, 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 to test and see who is, a, is, um, is of the nation, you know, right? And if children, then ears. So we are ears of the Most High and joint ears with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer now with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time, Akia, or Akiam, are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. We're going to be supermen on the earth. Yeah. Think about that, yo. Think about that. Right? This is Titus chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, a servant of Yahweh, and an apostle of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, according to the faith of the Most High's elect, right? It's all about the elect, and the acknowledgement of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, right? In hope of eternal life. Think about that. Let your mind wrap around that, yo. Eternal life in glory and righteousness. Wrap, up, wrap your mind around that, yo. Right? Which the most high that cannot lie promised before the world began. Hey, the whole earth will be renewed, yo. Animals will be renewed. The, the, the waters will be renewed. Right? The, 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 um, the atmosphere will be renewed, yo. Plants and, it, and the, all these different things. The earth is going to be beautiful, yo. Right? So we are looking for these things, yo. Wisdom of Solomon chapter, um, chapter 2, please, chapter 3, chapter 3, right? And verse 4, it says, For though, matter of fact, let me read from verse 1, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. And they are going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Akia, Akim, our hope should be full of immortality, right? And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself, as gold in the furnace, as He tried them and received them as a burnt offering, right? These shall judge the Salakia I mean, Ajunta birds, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominions over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. Right? Let me read it again. They shall judge the nations, have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. That's what we're looking forward to. You know? Matter of fact, let's get that in Revelation 2 and verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come, finish the race, move on to victory. Right? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, right? Not for 10, 15, 20 years, and then it's like, alright, my works will speak for me. No. Unto the end. So even if you come in at the last second and you work unto the end. You're gonna get your reward, yo. Right? You, you, um, you, you go back to that parable with, um, with the men working in the vineyard. They who came in the last hour, right? Still got the same reward, yo. Right? So the, the point is to just endure to the end. That's the point, yo. Endure to the end, and he shall rule them. Right? So like, I skip the verse again. I need to overcome it and keep my works to the end. To him will I give power over the nations. Going back to wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. The vessels of potter, of, of potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my morning star and I, of my father, and I will give him the morning star, which is wisdom. Yo. Right? He that have an ear, let it, let it hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Yo. And as the, um, the elder brother Yeshua said, the Spirit is speaking to the churches. Yo. Listen. Right? Listen. Hebrews 12 and verse 11. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous but grievous. So it's grievous now living in this flesh and going through these different trials and tribulation, right? So it's not joyous now. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth a peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. So after all this, right, when we go, go through all this and we reach the kingdom, we're going to be righteous. We're going to be immortal and righteous. We're going to be gods, right? We're going to be gods. This is Hebrews Salakia, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4. But well, since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O Yahweh, beside thee, right? What he has prepared for them that wait for him, right? Um, there's another one I wanted to bring out. I can't remember where, where it is. I believe it's here. All right, here we go. Uh, Revelation chapter 22, I'll start at verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of Yahweh and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, there was a tree of life, which bare twelve manna of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Right? So even the, even the other nations are going to be healed, yo, 
by the rulership of the righteous here. Because the scripture tell you in um I think it's um, Proverbs chapter 21, right? Or is it 29? When the righteous are in our sides, the people rejoice here. So, the, so the nation will be healed by our rulership after we get rid of the so-called white man here. And there shall be no more curse. For the throne of the most high of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him. And they shall see his face. So we will see how about Shem Yahushua. Right? It tells you that in, in 1 John, we shall see him and be like him, yo. Right? And his name shall be in their foreheads. Meaning, we will know his name. We will understand all things, yo, that are given unto us. There shall be no night there. Neither shall be. And they need no candle. Neither the light of the sun. For the Lord, the power giveth them light. They shall reign forever. And he saith, these things are faithful and true. And the Lord, oh, Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass. There's another thing I wanted to bring out. Um, I believe it's um, chapter 21. Let me jump back to chapter 21. All right, here we go. Revelation chapter 21. And I'll start at verse um, 20, verse 3. And I heard a great voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Jehovah is with men, right, the men of Israel. I will the other nations through the men of Israel, right? And he will dwell with them. It shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. And the most house shall wipe away tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more pain, for the former things are passed away, right? After him, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it, it's worth it, alright, it's worth it, alright, let me wrap up with 2nd Ezra chapter 2, and I'll start at verse, um, verse 42, and I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the most, I was sung, the stock of the elect men, right, the one for the four thousand men, right, and in the midst of them was a young man of high stature, taller than the rest, and upon every one of them heads, he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marvel at really, yea, Akim, Strive for that crown of life. Strive for that crown of life. Right, so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said, These be there that put out the mortal clothing and I put on the immortal. Right? And I've confessed the name of the most I know they are crowned and received palms. Right? Think about that, yo. Right? Think about this moment. Think about the moment being in the chariot, singing praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Shai for delivering us out of this wicked uh, um, system yo, and out of the destruction of this wicked kingdom think about that yo think about being in the kingdom think about being righteous think about you know having your multiple wives if, you, if, if that's the thing think about eating healthy food not worrying about your, um, your health and all these things right think about that yo. think about traveling to, to, to the furthest reaches of the galaxy think about uh, um, seeing to the very minute atoms and things that make up atoms yo. learning all these different things yo experiencing life for what it truly is experiencing sex for what it truly is Experiencing food for the truly, truly is. Experiencing the presence of the most side. Right? Think about all these different things, Akia. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Right? So with that, again, Kalalal, Yahawah Bashem, Yahawah Shai, Bashem, Yahawah Kodash. Forgive me the spirit to this lesson. Yahawah Bashem, Yahawah Shai, Bashem, Yahawah Kodash, Barak, Kal, Akiam, Wa, Akwa, Tazadakiam, Wa, Zakwanim. Right? Shalawam, Akiam. You know, keep pushing. Many pleas and blessings and honor to you, Akiam, Baharaka, Kodash. You may the most I continue to, to, to feed you with the spirit so you may grow in the knowledge and the grace of the Hawbashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakakodash. Shalom.